All right, so we're here at sump number two. Uh, you can see one of the motors in the corner, but there's a uh, overflow state right here, so we're gonna access it from the backside shortly. This uh, channel feeding this particular sump is, uh, we said 24 inch wide? 24 by 30 inch. 24 inch wide by 30 inch depth channel. Uh, we're looking at the roof up here above us that's about... Nine feet to my eyeballs. So, so, add, so add eyeballs down about another five, five feet or so. so yeah, so feet. about uh, 16 feet or so, 16 feet above us. If you look over here, uh, here's one angle there. You're still about 16 feet, plenty of room uh, in height. We're going to walk through this way. So here is the sump. I'm looking at pump one, pump two, right over there in both corners with riser pipes. And the trough would be where? It's either coming in right here or right here. Let me uh, see if I can find it in my old pictures when it wasn't flooded. Yeah, so the trough is flooded. We have pictures of it, but we already know the dimension. Again, they don't care if we go inside the trough and mount vertically or if we go inside the well or basin and mount horizontally, whatever works. They're open to solution. This does not have to be explosion proof FM rating. We're gonna quote the equipment and the electrical requirements. Their electrician is gonna handle the electrical portion. Their contractors are gonna do the installation. We're quoting equipment only.